A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Grisman Aduloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, some on the UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. For our meditation and discussions, we're looking at the Word of God, the book of Psalms, chapter 67, from verse 5 to verse number 7. The scripture says, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield our increase, and God, even our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Let the people praise thee, O God. Praise. The subject and art of praise cannot be overemphasized because uh, it is the habitation of God. Praise is the habitation of God and God delights in the praises of his people. He wants you to praise him all of the time. He wants you to show acknowledgement and appreciation to him for his goodness and for his mercies over your life, over your family, over your end divorce, for the grace that has kept you alive up until now. God awaits your praise. Praise waits for you in Zion, is what the scripture says. And God is expecting praise to ooze out of your life and of your destiny in view of the many glorious things that he has done in your life, in view of the very many battles he had fought on your behalf, even the many battles you are not even aware of. Praise. Praise is one major key to obtain the promises of God in our lives. If you must obtain the promises of God for your life, you must be a man or a woman that is given to the praise of the Almighty God. A man that sings the praise of God every time. A man that eulogizes God, that acknowledges God, that references God, that worships God. You must be that man. You must be that woman. Praise is very critical, very essential. Don't forget, I said, it is the habitation, the habitat of God. God dwells in the praise of his people. And so it is important for you to learn how to praise God. If you want multiplication in your life, if you want to obtain the blessings of God or the promises of God, switch into the key of praise. Praise is what to do when you don't know what to do. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, we read the story of Jehoshaphat and the men of Judah. They were confused because they were faced with soldiers and armies that were bigger and stronger than them. They were frustrated. They didn't know what to, what to do. They were confused. Now that they didn't know what to do, a prophecy came that you guys should praise the Lord. And so they appointed singers to praise the name of the Lord and the beauty of his holiness. And as they began to praise God, in spite of their battles, God set an ambushment against their enemies. Their enemies destroyed themselves by themselves. That is what happens when you switch to the dear of praise. Dear listener, God is waiting for your praise to move into action on your behalf. When praise goes up from you, blessings come down from God. And so learn to praise him all of the time. That scripture we read said, let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Then the, shall the heart yield an increase. The heart has lots of increase, lots of harvest, lots of blessings, but the heart will only yield it to the man who is given to the praise of the Almighty God. A man who praises God. Heaven over him is open. For praise is a major key that can open the heaven upon the life of a man. Don't forget, when Jesus got to the grave of Lazarus, he lifted up his voice and he gave thanks to God. Father, I thank you because you hear me always. Praise, thanksgiving is a form of praise. So when you praise God, it caused there to be openings in heaven. Heaven opened, the grave of Lazarus opened, and he that was dead came out of the grave because Jesus praised him. When Jesus was going to feed 5,000 men, not counting the women with insufficient resources, five loaves of bread and two small fish, the Bible says he lifted up his eyes to heaven and he gave thanks. And the bread multiply. Praise multiplies resources. Insufficient resources will become more than enough when you know 
how to praise God. Learn how to praise God, dear listener. It's a vital key for victory in life. Jehoshaphat became victorious because of the key of praise and of thanksgiving to God. Paul and Silas in Philippian J, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verses 25 and 26, they praised the name of the Lord at, at their midnight hour. They praised God and the prisoners heard them. And the Bible says there was an earthquake because God stepped down into the prison situation and brought about a turnaround. Their doors were open. Their chains fell off their hands and their feet released from the stalk because they praised God. Learn to praise God. When it is convenient, praise God. When it is not convenient, praise God. In your morning hours, praise the Lord. In your night season, praise the Lord. Psalm 30 verse 5. In part B of it, the psalmist said, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Weeping. And so why should I weep when I'm sure joy comes in the morning and there is no night that does not end? The night season will soon be over. A brand new day will soon break. There is going to be a dawn of a new day. And so why should I now weep in the night since I know my morning season is coming? I would rather praise God even in the night season, like Paul and like Silas, so that everyone can respond to my situation very quickly. Praise is a powerful tool in the hand of the saints of God, in the hands of the believers. Praise the Lord always. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. If you still have breath, then learn to praise Him. Praise the Lord at all times. Worship Him at all times. Give Him all the glory. The Bible says, Then the earth shall yield our increase, and God, even our God, shall bless us. Psalm 34 verse 1 said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let the praise of the Almighty continually be in your mouth. Don't forget, the praise of God is like a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword in the hands of the saints of the Most High. And that's exactly what the scripture says in Psalm 149. Verse number 6 says, Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands. And with this, they execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Uh, this is the honor that God has given to all his saints. Let's learn to praise the Lord at all times. Praise him for the blessings that you have received. Praise him for the blessings and the miracles that are on the way. Praise him for who he is. Praise him at all times. Praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Praise him. That songwriter said, I will not be silent. I will always worship you. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as I am breathing. I will always worship you. That should be your attitude, dear listener. Always worshiping, always praising God. Praise Him at all times. He will open all prison doors. He will cause heavens to open upon you. He will cause rain to fall upon you. He will cause your heart to yield the increase to you. He will cause everything you do to produce result. Praise Him all the time. Do not be silent. Always praising Him, whether convenient or not convenient. Praise Him at all times. It takes faith to praise God in all situations. Let your faith be strong enough to praise him in all situations. Even coming out of fire, coming out of war, learn to praise the Lord. Like Horatio Spafford, it is well with my soul. Even in the overwhelming flood, it is well with my soul. Praise him all the time. Worship him all the time. It's a major way to obtain the promises of God and the blessings of the Almighty. And let us pray. 
The prayer is a prayer of thanksgiving this morning. I'd like you to lift up your voice and begin to appreciate God for who he is and for what he has done in your life. Lift your voice and begin to worship the Lord, appreciate and praise him in appreciation for who he is. Heavenly Father, I praise you for who you are. I'm acknowledging you for who you are and for the things that you have done in my life, in my family, in my ministry, touching my health, touching my finances. I appreciate you for the things that you have done for my children, for my spouse. I am appreciating you. I'm giving you all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, all the adoration. Thank you, eternal God, in Jesus' precious name. Lift your voice and pray and say, Father, let me always have reasons to praise your name and clothe me with a garment of praise, with a garment of gratitude in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that we always have reasons to praise your name. Let me always have reasons to praise your name. Clothe me, dear God, with a garment of praise, with a garment of gratitude in the name of Jesus. I choose to be a grateful man, a grateful one. Help me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal God, in Jesus' precious name. I pray that your praise and the worship of the Almighty today be acceptable to God in the name of Jesus. May the Lord accept your person, accept your praise, accept your offering, accept your sacrifice. May he glorify his name in your life, in the precious name of Jesus. And as you appear before God in the house of God today, as we raise your voice to praise him, may he cause heaven to open upon you and may he bless you in return. May the heart yield that increase unto you as we praise the name of the Lord and as you worship him. And may this new will be a glorious one for you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I invite my esteemed listener, get dressed and go to the house of the Lord. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said to me, come, let us go to the house of the Lord. Be glad to appear before God today. Join us this morning for a glorious service at the Light Cathedral, 8 a.m. You may wish to join on any of our social media handles on Facebook at LICCNG1 on Twitter at LICCNG and on YouTube at Lighthouse International Christian Center. Follow me on my social media handles on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, and on TikTok at Yemi Grisman and on Twitter at Reverend Grisman. The Lord bless you as you do. Forward this message and share the link with your contact. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program, I am Jeremy Grisman at Duluju, wishing you a very glorious Sunday and the Lord bless you. Oh, I am.